When you log in to Jira Cloud, you're brought to the Projects page, where all Jira projects are listed. Clicking a project link takes you to that project. Just like Jira Server, one of the primary ways to get around in Jira Cloud is to use the navigation bar at the top of the screen. However, there are some changes and enhancements in the Jira Cloud navigation bar, so let's take a closer look at all of the available options. Starting at the left, just like Jira Server, is the product switcher icon that enables you to switch between available Atlassian products and instances, and also the Jira icon that takes you to the home page which in Jira Cloud is the Projects page. Next is Your Work, which is a new feature in Jira Cloud. This page shows all projects you've recently worked with, including quick links to your open issues, done issues, and links to all boards associated with the project. Below the projects are individual issues that you can filter by issues you've worked on, issues you've viewed, issues assigned to you, and your starred filters. This page gathers all your JIRA activities in one convenient place, so you can easily view and access your projects and tasks. Next is the Projects menu. This is similar to the Projects menu in JIRA Server, where you can access recent projects or view all projects. There's also an option to create a project that may or may not be available to you depending on how your administrator has configured your JIRA instance. The Filters menu is new in JIRA Cloud, and provides quick access to your starred filters, recently used filters, and the list of all available filters. You can also jump directly to the Advanced Issue Search page from this menu. The Dashboards menu is similar to the Dashboards menu in Jira Server, enabling you to access recently viewed dashboards, view a list of all available dashboards, and create a new dashboard. The People menu is new in Jira Cloud and helps to facilitate collaboration. You can access team member profiles and project teams that you're a member of. You can also add team members and invite users to your Jira instance. Clicking one of your teams displays a summary of your work on the team and lists the other team members. The Plans menu may or may not be available in your Jira instance depending on your Jira configuration. This menu provides access to JIRA's Advanced Roadmaps feature that enables long-range planning across multiple teams and projects. The Apps menu provides access to any third-party apps your administrator may have added to your JIRA instance. The far right side of the navigation bar contains the same options as those in JIRA Server – Quick Search, Notifications, Help, Settings, and your Account Profile. When you're working in a project, additional functions and navigation options are available in the sidebar. Most of these are exactly the same as those in Jira Server, so in this tutorial we'll just look at the new options available in Jira Cloud. The Roadmap option will appear if basic roadmaps have been enabled for the current board by the board administrator. A basic roadmap provides an overview of the project, organized into epics, and is a useful tool for planning and tracking overall progress. The Code option will be available if your administrator has enabled the Code feature for the project. The Code screen will list the repositories that are associated with the current project and that your team works with. The Pages option displays confluence pages that have been linked to the project, gathering them into one convenient location for easy access. From this screen, you can create new confluence pages to be associated with this project. Just a couple more things to know about navigating in Jira Cloud before we finish. When working with most options in the project sidebar, Jira Cloud maintains a breadcrumb trail at the top of the page. To go back to a previous screen, simply click one of the breadcrumb links. In this case, we can navigate back to our board by clicking the project name. On many screens in Jira Cloud, you'll see the More icon, which is indicated by three dots. This menu always contains additional options that are relevant to the page you're viewing. Be sure to check out other tutorials in this series to learn more about Jira Cloud.